if we only knew it is morning here and it is beautiful and the birds are singing which is totally one of my favorite sounds and i would say good morning but it might not be morning when you're watching this it could be afternoon it could be evening so whatever it is i hope that it's good and that you are blessed and doing absolutely wonderful today whatever today is i will tell you that the plan for my first video is actually to do an interview um and I was super excited about it and it's gonna happen it's totally gonna happen so don't you worry but as I was laying in bed last night um, I started to pray and I was just talking to the Lord about different stuff and I felt like he put something on my heart and as I was just meditating on it I felt like he wanted me to share it so that is why we're here for video number one of if we only knew okay so if you're here you've probably heard the scripture before um, that says unless we become like a child that we can't inherit the kingdom of God right I love that verse. I love how over the course of my life, like God has continuously taught me more and more about what it's like to be a child. And as I've grown, I've learned more about that. I feel like being an adult can be such a disadvantage sometimes because of the way we're conditioned, especially in our country. But um, I wanted to share something really cool with you guys. Yesterday, I was on Marco Polo, which if you don't know what Marco Polo is, long story short, it's like FaceTime, but think texting so it's like video texting you can watch it whenever you want you can respond to your person you know whenever you want um, but it's through video messaging so super cool my sister and I were Marco Poloing back and forth with each other and her kids she has three children um, and they're all six and under and so you can imagine with their ages being six and under that they're very like youthful and cute and you know childlike right eventually I decided that I wanted to do something to make them smile, to make them laugh, whatever. And so I'd actually just went and grabbed some bubbles that I had and just started blowing bubbles on camera and they loved it. Here's the part that is really cool to me. One of the little girls, actually the oldest one, she, uh, she's I think six, she loved it. And she, that when they sent me the video back, she asked her mom, can she do it again? And I was like, oh, that's so cute. And so I, got back on and I did it again and I blew another bubble and I blew a really big one this time and they loved it and they were like you blew a big one and so then I got back on and I blew another big bubble um, and then I did it from a different angle and they just could not get enough of me blowing these bubbles and last night I was laying in bed and I was just thinking about you know having enjoyed that conversation with my sister that day but but not just that I was thinking about the kids and how what I felt like Holy Spirit spoke to my heart was that he has asked us to be like a child. And when a child has an experience that they think is good, they grab hold of that and they just want to repeat it again and again and again. I've seen that not just with my sister's kids, I've seen that with every child that I have ever encountered or spent time with. When you do something that they love, they want you to repeat it. And you think, how many videos have you seen, either on YouTube or Facebook or whatever, of parents with their little babies that are six months or whatever, and the, the parent is doing something totally hilarious, and the baby is laughing, and then the parent wants to imitate that for the child to bring that child joy, right? Here's what I took away from that, what I felt Holy Spirit spoke to me, and what I want for you to receive. When we have an experience with the Lord that is amazing and wonderful and we love it, Let's grab hold of that and go back for more. I feel like um, a lot of us, I've, I know I've struggled with this. I feel like a lot of us struggle with this idea of our encounters with God being like a one-time ordeal, being something that, you know, we're going to get to experience that moment, right? But with God being the perfect father, like, like the best, right? And we are you know, I don't mean to be negative, but like flawed, flawed imitations of him as a father, right? Even the best fathers, even the best parents, we are flawed imitations of him and his perfection, right? And that's what we do with our kids. We are constantly repeating ourselves, repeating that encounter that our child loved. And he tells us, unless you become like one of these, you cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. And so my encouragement to you is this, when you find a worship song that really, really arouses affection in your heart towards the Lord. Sit on it. And it might be a few weeks that it's super anointed. It might be, you know, several months. Who knows what the Lord's plan is. But when he touches something and he touches a method of communing with him, 
and he blesses it, we want to hold on to that. You want to grab hold of that and be like the child that goes back for more and more and more. So if you're in prayer and you find a particular method of prayer, you're in your room and you're just kind of walking around, just walking back and forth and you're praying and you find that you're able to really enter into an anointed place to, to pray and to, f- to feel that boldness inside of you just rising up and you're interceding for the people that you love, for yourself, for the circumstances you see around you. Go back for more crazy hair go back for more right repeat that do it again if there's a place that you found that was just the sweetest say you go outside to spend time with the Lord and it is just rich like you the sound of the birds chirping and the feeling of the wind in your hair just brings you such a sense of peace and joy in Christ go back outside the next day let's be like children and just repeat those things and it's not to say that like we should neglect anything okay so I'm not trying I'm not trying to tell you that like if you find a worship set of like three songs that are like so anointed to you that you should never listen to any other music or you should never read the Bible or you should never do anything else and and just sit on that thing that's not what I'm saying at all the spiritual disciplines that we've been offered the word prayer worship all the things right The things that we've been offered as spiritual disciplines are things we should be doing every single day. I'm not saying to neglect anything. I'm just saying be the kid that goes back for more. Just because a child loves bubbles doesn't mean that if that child has to go to the bathroom, they're not going to go to the bathroom. Or if that child needs to eat and gets hungry, that they're not going to eat. They don't neglect the other necessities, but they find the thing that they love and they go back for more because of the fact that to them it's blessed. It's good. It's sweet. Do you see what I'm saying? So anyways, I hope that that's an encouragement to you. This is such an encouragement to me. Um, Just remember that your father in heaven is the sweetest, best father that you could ever imagine. Our grid for understanding who he is as a father on earth is literally so limited. It is so shallow in comparison to his perfection and his goodness. But he even says in his word, he said, if you being evil can give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father give to you? And so I just want to encourage you to remember that he is not going to encounter you one day just to choose that he doesn't want to continue to encounter you. He does. He wants to see you smile. He wants you to feel his presence. He wants you to have the greatest amount of joy in him that is even imaginable. And that comes when we grab hold of those things, those encounters that we have with him, and we run back for more and for more and for more. So let's run back. Let's grab the anointed places, the things that he has breathed his life on in this season for each one of us individually, and let's go back for more. Just like kids go back for more bubbles. I love you all. I hope you're having a great, again, whatever it is, day, morning, afternoon, and I'll see you again very soon.